Good morning, everybody. My name is Dr. Palacios, and I am here to answer your health questions regarding migraines. So this question comes from a statement that I found on a forum, which says the following. So my family jokes that my head is much more accurate than the local weather forecasters. And unfortunately, they're correct. Which brings us to the questions. Are migraines triggered by weather changes? And the simple answer is yes, but it does not happen to all migraine sufferers. Okay, so to tackle this question and answer about how do weather changes affect migraines, uh, we need to kind of understand how barometric pressure works, or in this case, what's called as barometric migraine. And how this works is that you're Obviously you have a, an, an atmosphere, a surrounding outside of you, and it's affected by the weather. So this atmosphere can go through different fluctuations of high levels and low levels. And it's the low levels of pressure in the atmosphere that causes changes in your physiology. And this can actually also cause pain in other conditions, not just migraines but we'll talk about that in another time. So what happens is when the pressure decreases, and this is due to the following changes, so extremes, times of warm weather, clouds, dust, high levels of dust, high levels of wind, precipitation, high altitude, although high altitude tends to be more, uh, the migraines gets triggered more from low levels of oxygen, uh, but it can sometimes trigger uh, low blood pressure, which I'll get to. Uh, storms, which include thunderstorms, and then high or low levels of humidity. So those are some of the things that could lead to low atmospheric pressure. Now, what happens exactly is the low atmosphere causes changes inside of you by decreasing your blood pressure. So when your blood pressure goes through a slight decrease, your blood vessels are going to expand as a response. But as it expands, your platelets, what's in the blood, you know, the little component that heals any cuts or wounds, is going to release a chemical called serotonin. You might have heard this serotonin as the happy hormone, but you also have to keep in mind that serotonin has many other functions in the body. So this serotonin is going to respond and tighten the blood vessels as a response. So the body is going through this fluctuations of expanding blood vessels and constricting blood vessels. So expanding, shrinking, expanding, shrinking, and that's going to lead to various changes of oxygen supply in the head where migraine sufferers tend to be the most sensitive in, which will lead and trigger a migraine. Uh, so what happens now is that, you know, you just have to be aware of the forecast. Uh, one of our naturopathic tenants is prevention, which means that you need to have, you need to be prepared for this kind of event. So obviously keep aware of your forecast, and your medication, your to-go medications and treatments on the hand and ready to go because the weather changes will affect the migraines. And like I said, not everybody, not every migraine sufferer does get affected. It's about 25% roughly. But yes, keep that in mind. And again, it's only Believe it or not, small changes in the physiology of a migraine sufferer on the, on the sensory of the head, they get very triggered and they can have a reaction like this, including such small changes in the atmosphere pressure that many of us don't have that internal awareness or um, perception, sensory perception. So thank you very much for listening. I hope this question is cleared up. And please feel, feel free to ask more questions. I'll see you then.